We're not doomed by our family history. Here's why. Do you think chronic diseases are genetic? They are not genetic. My name is Robert Needleman. I'm a molecular biologist and biochemist. Welcome to Empower My DNA. Is health genetic? It most definitely is not. Less than 1% of disease is connected to our genetics. So if you're worried about chronic diseases like heart disease, diabetes, cancers, Alzheimer's, and dementia, please listen to this carefully. The Welderly, the Well Elderly, are people 80 and older with no chronic diseases. The Welderly study looked at all of the DNA of 1,400 Welderly age 80 to 105. The exciting result is that there wasn't much in their genes to account for their super Super aging. Through lifestyle choices, we can increase our health span, the number of years we live free of chronic diseases and disabilities. What if I told you we don't have to get diseases that are common in our family and we can live to an older age than our parents? There's a 98-year-old Welderly woman whose parents passed away at 59 and 64, her brothers at 43 and 75. She outlived her parents and siblings by decades. Family medical history is much more based in learned lifestyle and behavior patterns than genetics. Families share many habits. Families eat the same foods, have similar exercise frequency, similar ways of dealing with stress, similar emotional issues and environmental exposures. So if we don't want to get diseases that run in the family, we have to have different habits than our family. This is where our epigenetics comes into play. Epigenetics is control above the genes without affecting the DNA sequence. There are different ways we can activate or inactivate genes based on what we do in our lifestyle. Think about a piano as if the strings are our genes. We can play beautiful music to be healthy or play dissonant music and be un healthy. It's the same piano. We can choose how we use our genes. No matter what our genetic makeup or our family history, we can avoid chronic diseases by adopting healthy lifestyle habits. Healthy diet like the Mediterranean diet, exercise including aerobic and strength training. Exercise is one of the most effective ways to increase our health span. Seven to eight hours of quality sleep including deep sleep, ideally before midnight. Stress reduction is critical. 75 to 90 percent of human diseases are related to the activation of the stress system. Modern life is stressful, but we can control how stressed we are. Ways to reduce stress include moving meditation, seated meditation, breathing, and exercise. We don't have to get our family's diseases. We can live longer than our parents, and we can be much healthier than them. Thank you very much for joining me today. Have a happy, healthy day.